Welcome back to part three. Uh, getting ready to form the holster. We've got our jig made. We've got uh, block outs that we added for retention adjustments, uh, sight channel, and we added our um, nails to give us the uh, detent where we're going to drill our holes. Uh, we've got everything uh, set up and we're waiting for the uh, heat press to warm up. So um, next uh, we're going to form that holster. There's the clock 22, 17, Set up for a right hand uh, split mold jig. All right, so we got it uh, folded. Um, we have an adjustable retention on the inside. We've got some eyelets there. Um, so, you know, nice and clean. Um, why don't you look at that for a minute. We've got, uh, you know, block out for the RMR. The, the, yeah, the RMRs. Um, this one's not set up for it, but, you know, um, you know, nice and clean. Good snap, tight fit, not moving around, but yeah, this is how it came out, with a minor gap there, and if you all are wondering there, I can't even put my finger in that, so there you go. As done with the QLH mold, no tape, just set up like that, nice and smooth. But yeah, crisp and clean. That's how it came out. Yeah, this thing will last, uh, you know, thousands of presses. It's durable as heck. Now, so that's the benefit of having a QLH mold. You've got the uh, aluminum molds or uh, the gun part. HDPE so if anything gets up underneath this you know you're not gonna be snapping boards you're not gonna be breaking molds uh, if you drop it it just bounces um, you know this is the last job for as long as your career does as long as your business holds up there we go first one off the press